I normally have some semblance of structure when it comes to creating a video, but I kind of just want to talk because it's been a week since I posted a video, and this one's going to talk positively about Destiny 2 on PC. And I know, if that scares you, if that's something you don't want to see, you can just click out of the video. Save yourself some time. I'm really struggling to put into words my exact thoughts on the Destiny 2 PC release. People keep asking me, Cami, are you going to go back to console? Are you going to play PC for the rest of your life? I am not 100% sure on that right now, so I'll just talk my thoughts. I'll go ahead and say that I really like the Destiny 2 PC release, but it's even more than that. It's like borderline an obsession. It consumes my thoughts most of the day. Even when I'm in class, when I'm cooking dinner, when I'm at the gym, whatever, what is on my mind is Destiny 2, and that should be a problem. But before you call an addiction helpline, <laughs> let me explain why. For me personally, the greatest joy in life is improving at something that is extremely difficult to me. And that could be anything. It could be athletics, like getting a new PR in a race, a 5k, a 10k, a half marathon. It could be lifting more weight, like I benched 200, today I benched 205, hooray! Oh, I squat three plates now. That These are things that I strive to get because they're difficult to do and they take a severe amount of dedication to achieve. The way I kind of think about it in my head is almost like RuneScape. As in, I train a skill, I gain experience for that skill, I get better at that skill, and I unlock more things to do with that skill as I progress. Very, very analog to real life if you ask me. So anyway, I hope that I establish that if I find something difficult and then show progress with it, that is probably my greatest joy in life, as sad as that sounds. You can sort of see this idea live through my Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 playstyles. A lot of people think of me as some weapon hipster, when I really just take a weapon, I see the potential in it, and I slowly strive and grind till I can reach that potential and then reap the benefits of such. A lot of Destiny players, a lot of people in real life, they don't take the same approach. In fact, if they're in the face of difficulty, they usually just run the other direction. As a result, me simply trying new avenues to get good at the game leads me to being a weapon hipster simply because other people don't do it. I'll give you an example for clarity. So people say the fighting line is shit, I think it's good. We have opposite thoughts here, but I genuinely think that the fighting line has a lot of untapped potential, things that the enemy team can't prepare against, and I can hit them while safely in cover. That is really the key factor there. I can hit them while I'm safely in cover, and I can direct my team to play around that so that we're always in a 2v1 or even a 2v2 where the enemy has less health than us. I don't think that's being a weapon hipster. I think, like I said earlier, that's taking something with untapped potential and slowly grinding till I can reap the benefits. Now being a weapon hipster would be people saying, the last hope is good, so I'm automatically just going to use the Suro sidearm, simply because it's different, not because it's better in any facet. Really what it comes down to with both this fighting lion and last hope example is that if there was a million dollar tournament for Destiny 2 tomorrow, you bet your ass I would bring Fighting Lion and The Last Hope in there, and I would never be caught dead with the Suro sidearm because I'm putting myself at a disadvantage. Basically, I'm not trying to break the mold, I'm trying to completely recreate it. So now that I established overcoming difficulty is pretty much my high in life and what I strive to do every single day, you might then begin to understand why I find Destiny 2 on PC borderline addiction for me. So many months ago, when Destiny 2 was announced, to be launched on PC, everyone immediately jumped to the conclusion that console players couldn't hang with PC gamers, that there's a Korean five-year-old somewhere in the world that could shit on every top 100. And I sort of took that as a challenge, so I immediately started playing Counter-Strike, Rhythm Games, and training myself to build just a little bit of basic muscle memory with mouse and keyboard on first-person shooters. Essentially, overcoming the difficulty of adjusting to mouse and keyboard was my new mountain to climb. It was difficulty that I had to overcome, so I was excited to progress. So in the same way that I use Fighting Lion to open up some more options for myself through just persistence and grinding, keyboard and mouse is kind of the same thing. Once you get good at keyboard and mouse, it offers up so many more options than a controller. My first taste of keyboard and mouse victory was when I was playing Legion's Gulch, I was trying to pull power ammo, and somebody thought they were slick throwing a lightning grenade at me. 
They threw it on the wall behind me, I immediately 180'd, shot it off the wall, and picked up the power ammo. That moment was an immediate surge of adrenaline. Just all my efforts paid off in that one moment. Mom Spaghetti, I'm pretty sure I said something rude, like, get your console scrub ass out of here, because if he knew the potential of mouse and keyboard, he would not have thrown that grenade. But the extent of mouse and keyboard doesn't stop there. My new mountain to climb is sniping. I want to get good with sniping because it's sort of something that is almost impossible to do on console, but on PC because you can see better because of the frame rate, because you can react to flinch differently because of the frame rate, and because you could be that much more precise because of mouse and keyboard, because there is no aim assist with mouse and keyboard, you can get tighter angles, I think it is one of the better power ammo options. Now don't mistake me saying almost impossible to use on a controller as impossible to use on a controller. Because one of the most consistent sniper players I know is my friend V9 Edgewalker, which I'll link his Twitch in the description. He plays on a controller. He has put in so many hours with the controller, he knows how the aim assist values feel, his muscle memory is there, he knows when to challenge, when to smartly flank with the sniper, and most of all, how to stay the fuck alive when using power ammo. That is the key difference that I don't see players making, is if you stay alive with the sniper rifle and you just scope down a lane, the enemy team plays into your hand, because no logical player will ever peek a sniper rifle assuming that you're playing a good sniper because they'll headshot you. Hopefully now, after explaining why I like overcoming difficulty, why keyboard and mouse opens up a whole new avenue of options, like sniping, it might make just a little bit of sense why I am in total love with the Destiny 2 on PC release. So I think throughout making this video, I've sort of answered my own question. I don't want to go back to console. I am enjoying the learning curve of keyboard and mouse entirely too much to give it up. If this offends you, please let me know in the comments. Let me know the reasons that you want to continue seeing me play console. I mean, I've sort of capped out on console, and I don't fear losing any skill on console either by preferring mouse and keyboard. Because ultimately, I put in thousands of hours on a controller. That shit doesn't just magically disappear. All I have to do is just put an hour or two a controller, and it quickly comes back. And before anybody types it up in the comments, no, enough with that cami you think you're so good, you're egotistical piece of shit, whatever. No, that's exactly why I like PC. It's because I have so much more to learn that I enjoy it. I really feel that I could talk about this subject for a long time, so I'm just going to try to make a logical conclusion to this video. As far as things going on in my life outside of Destiny 2 on PC, I'm still in college, this is my last semester, just took a very difficult test last week, so that took up a lot of my time for making videos. And then I also had a volunteer event to do this weekend, so clearly I can't put as much time into creating videos as I want to, and I seem to make up for the time by Twitch streaming. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, you might want to. I'm at least going to spend a little bit more time there since YouTube's being mean about the demonetization. Wanted to say another word, but I didn't want to get demonetized. Anyhow, I'm getting to another point in my life where my lifestyle is pretty much going to be forced to change because of either career options, graduate school, and I'm really uncertain about the future because there are so many different options for me to pursue. I know that's a very terrible thing to be complaining about, seeing as though I'm such in a fortunate situation, but the fact remains that once I pursue something, I give up another thing and it may be YouTube videos. So I apologize if I'm not meeting your upload schedule requirements in your head, whatever you think I have to post, but I'm doing my best and I'll post what I find entertaining because while yes, I make YouTube videos for my subscribers, I prefer making YouTube videos because it gives me a creative outlet to get rid of a little bit of stress that exercise just doesn't. So I guess all that's left to say is thank you for being a subscriber. You really do mean the world to me.